San Diego braces for another round as a devastating storm moving through northern and central California is blamed for the death of a five-year-old boy. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. I'm Marcella Lee. And I'm Steve Price in for Carla Chiquetto. People are shoring up here their property. They're preparing for more flooding tonight. But Chief Meteorologist Carlene Chavez says maybe not so fast. Carlene, what's the latest? Here's the thing. We're going to be the tail end of this system, so we are going to see rain. We are going to have periods of heavy rain, but is it going to be as bad as what's happening to the north of us? No, we That's have good. no flood concerns that are in effect right now. We just have to be mindful of this because this storm system is going to be getting closer towards us, but the bulk of that moisture is going to stay towards the north. Take a closer look at where that storm system is right now. We are starting to see a little bit of minor clearing near Santa Barbara, and that's where we've been seeing a lot of rain. As mentioned, uh, the community of Montecito just flooded out, and then you're talking about that rain getting closer towards us. We are looking at a chance for showers once we get past about 10 p.m. for tonight. The bulk of the moisture does look to be tomorrow morning in the afternoon hours. Also a chance for some thunderstorms. And when you take a look at the rainfall totals with this system, some areas could see about an inch or more. You're talking about Fallbrook, especially North County. You're seeing those purple indications and even stretching towards the mountains. We could see about a half an inch and that would be for downtown. Also seeing that extend right along the coastline. Some areas could get some heavier rainfall than others. And as we just monitor this system, it's just something to be mindful of, but it's not expected to be as bad as it is north of us. So we'll go ahead and time out the rain coming up in your complete forecast. Steve, Marcella. All right, Carlin, we'll see in a few minutes. Now, a lot of you have barely had time to catch your breath since Mother Nature's last powerful punch. As people across the county brace for this next storm, our Brian White checked in on the cleanup efforts that are still happening in Imperial Beach after last week's storm. I'm here at the south end of Seacoast Drive where flooding and sand still remain from the last storm. City crews have been hard at work trying to clean this mess up. This bulldozer makes one pass after another, scooping up massive amounts of sand left over from last week's storm when ocean water flooded this parking lot during high tide. I come down here and I see this big ass bulldozer and they got, <laughs> they got tons of water and all the mud and everything. I've never seen anything like it. The parking lot sits next to some beach condos situated between the Pacific Ocean and the Tijuana River estuary. Access to the North Beach Trail is closed off here while city crews continue to clean up and dump the excess sand back on the beach. What we had was overtopping on our beach ends and then on South Sea Coast we had some street flooding. We lost a little bit of our beach from that, but from that last storm we've done a lot of the cleanup. The city's public works and Tidelands maintenance crews hard at work here, sweeping and removing every last bit of sand they can before the next storm arrives. I mean, the road's pretty dirty. I mean, um, if you had like a low car like I, like I do, you couldn't even drive through some areas. You had to, you know, go around. So, yeah, we'll see what this brings, but it's not looking too good. The surf picked up today with four to seven foot waves near the IB Pier, and it's forecasted to increase in size tomorrow. I see some huge waves. We were here last night. It wasn't nothing like this. I'm really surprised how big they are. While most people are staying out of the water, a few surfers took advantage of the growing swell. Are you looking forward to catching some waves? Absolutely. Yeah, I want to get out there. <laughs> As far as storm preparations in Imperial Beach, sandbags and Santa Filos bags can be picked up behind City Hall. And whether or not they're expecting flooding like last week, Fire Chief John French tells me this. It'll just be the storm rain. You know, we won't have the overtopping and things like that from the surf. So it'll just be, you know, whatever our, our storm drain system can handle, which, you know, if, as long as we don't get any big rains in a short period of time, you know, it shouldn't be any, you know, major flooding. In Imperial Beach, Brian White, CBS 8.